Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. So guys, now in this video, we are going to learn about how to create an admin panel or admin dashboard for our e-commerce website. Okay, so guys, now let's get started. So first step, let's go to one template, admin panel. So guys, I have already downloaded one free admin panel, which is known as Majestic admin free bootstrap admin panel okay so let me just show you this let me copy this and if i go for search here i found that okay so bootstrap whatever it is just go to that link and you will be able to download that it's a free version so you can get started with it okay so guys i have finally downloaded that and extracted here and now let me just show you a demo over here so let's go inside the template and on index.html file double click on it so here is a design guys so now let's integrate this admin panel in our laravel application okay so first step let's open our template so we open the file using vs code all done guys over here inside template we have a index.html all set so here you find some css links and few codes so let's implement it guys let's go to our laravel application now you need to create one layout inside that admin.blade.php as simple and now let's copy the app blade file okay go to your app blade.php file just copy from the body part and paste inside your admin so let's copy this live wire also and here you paste it all set guys so now you need to set up the css files which we have in the template majestic template okay so it starts from here let's copy all this code and paste back let's remove all the things which would don't require it and here we paste so guys you need to link all these folders okay so let me move to that template let's select with css fonts images js and CSS and vendors file okay folders so let's copy these folders copy and paste in your laravel application and go to your public folder and inside that let's create one new folder with the name admin and inside this admin folder let's keep all the folders what we copied from the template as simple guys done and now let's link this correctly so you need to go to your laravel application at admin blade file and now guys you need to check the path so here we go inside admin and find that folders path so first step we'll move inside the admin forward slash and then you call your vendors folder so same process just call that and you go back again here admin and your css style.css and again images forward slash perfect so now you need to set up with the asset method open and close curly brace where asset function where you need to paste the path done so please follow up with this all set so let me paste for this also done and next and final the image part set guys so now let's include the script part so you need to go to your template and let's move below at the last so these are our js files let's copy this copy and paste back get back template here is our chart not required data table we require so you need to copy this both 
and you paste back we require these three scripts let's paste that and back again here we see that data table and again data table and again data table and this is the custom file dashboard.js so we require all these four codes let's take this we don't require this jquery cookie just ignore that let's paste that also perfect so now guys you need to link according to your correct path so asset function here you link the path and it's inside the admin folder admin forward slash path okay so let me link all the files so guys i have linked all the files now with the correct path and now guys let's begin with the design part where we have to include our sidebar navbar everything so first step we don't require this this is just an alert so you can remove and throw it off and now here we start with the navbar html so let me minimize this over here and this is your sidebar let's minimize this also okay and this is your main admin panel so first let's copy this navbar and go back to your application now guys we will create a folder inside resource folder resource views layouts inside layouts let's create one folder named inc and inside this inc folder inc means includes okay we are just keeping a shortcut and create one admin folder inside that admin folder let's create create a file named navbar.blade.php paste the code all set so you need to close this file now and again get back to your template and now guys let's copy this sidebar let's copy this control c and paste your sidebar go to your admin folder and again create one file called sidebar blade.php paste it all set so sidebar also is created let's close this and finally you require the design okay so for that guys we need to set up the area okay so for that let's get back to our admin admin blade file so this is our file and here we are going to copy the container first container scroller and paste that so we have to end this div all done next we have to set up with the navbar we have already created but we need to include it so let's ignore that and now let's copy the below code another div and let's end this div so now guys here we have to include the navbar includes method where you are going inside the layouts inc admin navbar you have to call the path and now you can call your sidebar inside your container fluid sidebar all set and now inside this you are going to set up your code area okay that is your admin main panel so let's copy this content wrapper here you paste let's copy and paste here at this section you have to use the yield method so y i e l d yield where you will tell content and now guys let's get back and here you see some setups with the row you need to copy this and we will set up that get back at this content area we need to set up it okay so how will you set up that first we have to create a route and then call the dashboard so let's create the route guys first route web.php let's come below and create a route colon prefix group function where open the function open and close curly brace and now here inside this prefix we will be calling 
the admin this will be our admin prefix and now you can set up your dashboard route colon colon get method where you are going to set up the dashboard at the controller okay so where is your controller part let me copy this the path control c and paste here and instead of home controller let me create a dashboard controller inside admin folder now you can create one controller php artisan make colon controller inside admin folder forward slash dashboard controller hit enter and your controller created controllers and here you find admin folder and dashboard controller cool so now guys you need to link the file at index function let's go to the dashboard controller create a function with the name index and we don't have any type let's remove that call the page return view function where we will create one admin folder and inside that dashboard.blade.php file okay yep so guys you need to set up that let's go to resource views and inside that views create a admin folder for your backend okay and now let's create a file with the name dashboard.blade.php as simple all set guys and now you need to extend your layout so let's use extend and what you're going to extend the admin okay layouts admin we have created just now okay so this this layout we are extending it and after extending that we are going to add the code over here so let's use a section and that section has a content and section all set guys and now you can call the path let me tell hello over here hello and you need to call copy the path let's get back and here you set your admin prefix slash dashboard cool so guys you see here hello we have printed and we got this and about the sidebar and navbar we have got the output whatever we have included in our dashboard perfect so guys let me show you the code of template let's copy this and let's paste that in our dashboard design page so here you page with the row save and now you can check the output refresh cool so you get all this design so guys now whatever you require you can add on with the template requirement so right now i require only this much so guys now let me just change this name from majestic to fund com okay let's get back and go to your admin blade layout and here is our navbar and sidebar so let's check out in sidebar first let's move at the top and you find uh, the links itself so we'll move on navbar let's go on top so here the logo part here you can change or else you can you can continue with this but i'm going to directly give the text so let me minimize this command the code and here tell funda ecom okay let's save and now you can check the output refresh cool looks pretty so now guys uh, let's continue in next video with the new topic of this laravel 9 e-commerce project so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share